introducing BPL DF 2509R. Welcome to the guide for unpacking and operating the BPL DF 2509R. Unpacking Keep the carton upright. Remove the tape and open the flaps for the accessories carton. Lift the unit using the handle. Remove the polythene cover. Check for damage and notify to BPL if evident. Take out the paddle set and accessory case from the packing cushions. The standard accessories provided with the machine include user manual, ECG paper roll, external paddle set, disposable electrodes, earthing cable, ECG patient cable, cardiac jelly and a power cable. Safety information. Do read the user manual completely before operating the machine and use original accessories supplied by the manufacturer. Battery installation. Remove the two screws retaining the battery compartment and lift the battery lid. Align the polarized plug with the connector inside the compartment and push the plug fully into the connector until it gets locked. Route the battery cable properly so that it is free and will not get jammed between the battery lid and the case. Replace the battery lid and secure the two screws tightly. Keep the equipment upright. Device Overview The DF2509R is a portable featuring a 5.7-inch monochrome LCD display. It combines a 36-jewel and ECG monitor and a thermal printer, all packed into a compact and a lightweight design. Panel Description Front Panel Operating Controls On-Off Key Powers the device Energy Select Adjust the energy Charge This key allows you to charge the paddle to choose the energy level. Sync Chooses the Discharge Operating Mode Immediate Shock or Shock Synchronized with the next detected R wave. HR Alarm Activates an alarm if the patient's heart rate exceeds a certain threshold. Lead Select Chooses the input ECG source from lead 1, 2, 3 or the paddle. The selected ECG source is displayed on the screen. ECG Size This key allows you to increase or decrease the ECG height on the display. QRS Volume Adjusts the volume of the QRS beep. Record Prints the current ECG data and the status. Mark Stores the ECG data during the printing. Review Prints an event summary record and stops the recorder during printing. Isolated ECG input and an ECG out provides output for the external monitoring. Loading thermal paper. Push the lever fully by pressing on the mark to open the door. Insert the paper below the roller with the grid facing down. Make sure the paper extends about 25 mm above the roller. Align the paper within the provided guides. Push the lever back at the left end to prepare for operation. Close the printer door securely. Paddle Connection Guide Switching to Pediatric Paddle To use the pediatric paddle on the standard external paddle, slide the adult paddle forward after releasing the latch on the top. Once the adult paddle extends fully, it reveals the pediatric surface. Remember to return the adult paddle after use. Connecting the defib paddle Insert the paddle into the holder on the defib unit side. Align and insert the defibrillator plug into the output socket at the unit's front bottom panel. Rotate the plug clockwise to secure. To remove, rotate the connector anti-clockwise and gently pull to detach. Connecting ECG patient cable Connect the ECG patient cable plug to the ECG input connector on the front panel. Defibrillator operations Preparing paddles and turning on. Remove the paddles from the holder by sliding them backwards and up. Apply electrolyte paste to both the paddle surfaces. Then press the on off key to switch on the unit. Then select the energy. Press the charge key on the front panel or the apex paddle. The defib initiates charging, displaying the increased energy on the screen. Shock Hold both the shock keys on the paddle until the energy is delivered will be displayed. Event Summary Record 
The device stores up to 24 critical ECG events, each lasting 10 seconds, with 7 seconds of post-event data and 3 seconds of pre-event data. No new events are recognized during this period. To print an event summary, press the review key, all stored events will print. Press the record key to stop printing an event summary. Event summarizers can be printed even if the unit is switched off and later turned on. Defib Configuration System Setup Configuration Settings Enable Disconnect the external paddle HV connector from the unit's front panel. On powering up, the default internal paddle energy is 20 Joule. Use energy select keys to choose the desired energy level. Ensure the energy setting doesn't exceed 50 Joule. Confirm and select the needed energy level. Apply the internal paddle. Press the charge key on the front panel and wait for the charge ready indicators. Press the internal discharge switch on the front panel to defibrillate. Turn off the unit using the on-off key. Store the defibrillator. Connect the AC means power and ensure the battery charging LED is on. Confirm availability of the recording paper, electrodes and electrolyte paste for the next use. Lastly, always follow recommendations and safety protocols. This concludes the process of unpacking and operating BPLDF 2509R.